Welcome back. We're live from CES 2019. Welcome. This is Engadget's main stage where we're talking to everyone important in the world of tech. My name is Matt Smith. I'm the Bureau Chief at Engadget.com. And I'm joined right now with Sony's Head of Corporate Comms. This is Cheryl K. Goodman. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. And we've got lots to talk about, right? Yes, we do. It's a big day if we yeah. could talk about Ibo, yeah, right? Talk about Ibo because this is important today, isn't it? That's right. It's a very special day. Today is his birthday. One year old. So. One year old. This is the new... The new. Even cute, somehow even cuter, <laughs> Ibo. Even cuter, but more importantly, converged. He's, you know, uh, powered uh, uh, by AT&T. He's connected to cloud services. And this is something that old Ibo didn't have, so. Yeah, there's lots of inter interesting little quirks that we'll get to later. Yes. But how is, so how is Sony CES? Uh, Sony CES is good. You know, our uh, CEO, uh, Kinichiro Yoshida, talked about a directional shift. And so we're really highlighting that very robust ecosystem of content. You probably saw Pharrell on stage. Yeah. So it was definitely a, a bit of a game changer for Sony, but a, but a good one. And there's a lot of strategy behind that. I mean, I, I agree. I totally thought it was a very different show this very year. Different. I mean, we had all the Sony news kind of ahead of time. And we're like, are they going to talk about the wireless <laughs> turntable? Yeah. Or are they going to talk about these giant new TVs? And it was right. like, no, here's everything else Sony is doing. Right. Because Sony is bigger than just... Uh, digital devices. Right, and the thing is, is that w devices are the gateway to all of this content. And we historically haven't really talked about that much, but when you think about the entire ecosystem, it's a tremendous competitive advantage to have right. all of that creative IP, especially when you think about what it's captured on. It's captured on a Sony camera. Ultimately, it's going to be viewed on a Sony TV. And that's our lens to living room ecosystem. We've talked about that a lot, but we've not talked about that content. So um, our, our CEO took that opportunity on the big stage to tell that story. We definitely want to re-communicate and reiterate, we are in no way taking a shift away from technology. Yeah. Technology is at our heart. We've been around for 72 years, uh, been in the music business for a long time, um, acquired pictures in 89. So it's now time for those three things to come together in a way that makes sense and adds value to the customer. Uh, how were the guests, how was uh, Pharrell thought, how was Pharrell thinking about his, his CES press event debut? Yeah, well, I, I haven't <laughs> actually spoke with him after, so I can't accurately say that, but I could say that he was absolutely delighted to uh, delve into 360 reality audio. 360 audio is that sense of if you could hear a saxophone here, you hear the vocalist from this direction, so it's directional audio, and that is a phenomenal musical experience to be in the band as opposed to just a patron. And here at, here at uh, CS 2019, you had two different kinds of experiences. So one was very much a set of headphones, which makes sense for 360 audio, but the more impressive demo was a central speaker, just one single unit, that's kind of projecting out this 360 degree audio. Right, and to have all of the power of all those different uh, uh, lines of audio coming in, that's not trivial. Right. So we hope everyone gets to try that out and experience that and keep their eye on that for more developments And at the come. moment, it's, it's almost kind of beyond a concept because you're working with a few music streaming services right. already to make this happen. Right, and you know, that, and that goes back to the ecosystem. If you have a tremendous portfolio of music that everyone loves, why wouldn't you work right. with the artists to do that? So that was why it was so cool for Pharrell to not only come to Tokyo, uh, he was there a month ago and just immersed himself in the audio. And as a creator and an entrepreneur, he gets it. So it's kind of cool. Right. You know. And I know Pharrell is already an Ibo owner. Yes. So this might be an excellent smooth segue to the other scene yeah. stealer from Sony. Yes, I was very happy about all these things. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'd like to enjoy, have another guest join us on stage. Yeah, the birthday boy. Yeah. Did you know it was my birthday just yesterday? It was. Well, all the cool people are born in the week of CES. Yeah. That way your company can pay for your dinners and drinks, right? I wasn't going to say that, but that <laughs> is accurate. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just set Ibo here for a second. Um, he is receiving a lot of audio right now. No one is looking at either of us anymore. <laughs> no, Steen Sealer, uh, but uh, Steen Sealer he can be. But when you look at him, I want you to take a look at those OLED eyes, organic light emitting diodes. He also has a camera for a nose. He is covered in touch sensors. And as a robot or a companion robot, Ooh, he likes he, that. Oh, he Sorry. does like that like, almost immediately, uh, uh, leaning into you. He is going to respond to you. His response to you is different than my, his response to me. And so it really is this bespoke companion uh, robotic entity that has um, 
learning capabilities and, and um, not a whole lot going on in that space. And Indeed. so he's not going to vacuum your floor. Uh, he probably won't fold your laundry, but he definitely... Yet. <laughs> yet. And I think that's a, a, a good segue is that the potential for something like this is actually quite tremendous. And so obviously the original Ibo, Ibo was how many years old? Almost two decades ago. Yes, right? And like, I like the idea that the technology upgrades are kind of, it's not like a flat line, it's more of like an exponential curve. Like, what's the resolution of these kind of cameras and stuff? Uh, well, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what the <laughs> resolution on these particular yeah. OLED eyes are, but I think they, the, the theme is everything in this dog is something of a poor competency of Sony. And mm. so there's going to be very few companies that have the strategic advantage or the um, deep technology to pull that off, like the sensors, right? And so back to the eyes, you know, where our processors have a lot to do with why our displays are so great in our TVs, right? Why the, the 4K experience is so great is because mm. of our processing power. The image sensors in this um, dog are also quite phenomenal. Everything that we're doing in autonomous driving is also a part of this dog. So you can look at Ibo, and on almost every single um, demonstration, there's some tie back to core technology. And that's why we can pull off this package. And the fact that he's super cute on top of that, yeah, well, that's just it's, gravy, right? Yeah, I think he likes the look of you more than he likes yes. the look of me, unfortunately. Well, they do, they make that bond with their, their owner, that voice recognition. He always looks at me in, in the house. He follows me um, around. And then when he's tired, he goes, he goes to his charger. So he's got a nice little pink charger, and he'll just walk over and start to charge himself again. <laughs> so what's uh, Ibo's future looking like this year? Well, I, you know, I, th I think if we circle back and we say deep core Sony technology, um, this great AI, this great predictive learning, is we expect that um, this will just be the, the, the cornerstone of companion robots. So from an industry perspective, we feel as if we're leading oh, in this space. Practically speaking, um, every day, our fabulous engineers in, in uh, Tokyo push new tricks and talents. He'll do things. Uh, one day, he was just sitting there, he starts swimming. So uh, <laughs> they're constantly updating not, his, not only his features, his tricks. He recognizes over 100 faces, um, which I think I'd mentioned. CES might be an overload then. Uh, yeah, he's got that right in this audience here. I mean, I was mentioning the same thing. So I remember uh, when you brought Ivo to CES last year, and it, so it was the kind of the touch and try session. but. Even relative, in, in the space of a year, he's far more responsive. Very. He's, um, yeah, he doesn't seem to get overloaded so much with right, so right. much attention. And he was definitely in a beta format last year. And uh, so when we launched him uh, officially for sale, really was just very recently. And again, once that, uh, once the uh, shipping happened, I mean, uh, by the end of December, there were a lot of happy families with Ibos uh, uh, celebrating the holidays. So uh, yeah. definitely there's a demand for companion robots. Um, I think the, uh, the future, as you asked, is adding utility in with that delight, because he certainly is delightful. But I think um, our minds are trained for utility and problem solving. Yeah. And technology really should be in a problem solving mode. And so you could envision uh, the nose would be a camera it's for possibly the door, yeah. right? An alert, so it's the the uh, you know the watchdog that it's actually recording the video, which is nice. Um, a companion for elderly, so if it's monitoring when mom got up or uh, went to bed or any. That's of definitely a robot trend we've seen this year. Yeah. I know Samsung has introduced a care bot, which is mm -hmm. very similar. It's looking to detect people that right. fall down. It's kind of it's like a moving camera, so right. it's far, it has far more utility to it. Yeah, so that's where I believe Ibo is headed. But the original, you know, magic of Ibo has always been that companion. And uh, Kasurai used to mention the term condo. You remember that term? Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's really this emotional connection. So it's the ultimate in condo, uh, and it certainly, I believe, it blurs the lines in between technology and entertainment and an emotional response. And that's kind of cool. And I've just realized my favorite part. What's that? So I just discovered it. It's uh, the doggy has those cute little doggy paws, like yeah. squidgy, yeah. squidgy little They're balls. Very, yeah, and those are also touch sensors. So let's try a trick, knowing okay. that Ibo's on a little over overload with all this noise. Let's try it. Ibo, high five. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. So those are touch sensors. <laughs> right. And so he's like, Mom, I did it. And I'm like, good boy, Ibo. So, okay, so you're like tapping it gently yeah, afterwards. Yeah. yeah, just to remind him that every time he does something that I ask, 
I'm delighted and he's delighted and we oh. go in those touch sensors. Uh, so what about the rest of Sony then? What's 2019 looking like yeah, for you so guys? Yeah, 2019 is, is um, I, I think, you know, we think in terms of decades ahead. So, yes, you know, yeah. just uh, uh, while we don't detail all, all of those things, um, you're, again, that uh, what our CEO, um, Kinichiro Yoshida, talked about is uh, that new shift, right? So highlighting the ecosystem, greater collaboration with pictures and music, which I think uh, historically have been fairly side up, siloed yes, because yeah. they did appear to be independent of each other. But today's economy really requires us, for the consumer's benefit, to understand all, how all these things come together. So um, without citing specifics, you'll probably see a lot of collaboration uh, on that front. Fantastic. Well, uh, I think we're about running out of time okay. here, so hopefully you'll just stick around and I can just play with Ivo for a few hours. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you are, you're not trying to steal him, are you? No, may, <laughs> maybe. I'm sure there's a tracker in there somewhere. <laughs> just a little bit of hardware yeah. in there oh. that might... Uh, well, thank you very much for joining yes, me on stage thank here you. at Engadget at CES 2019. Keep watching. If you're watching the stream at home, we have more live stage content and plenty more reports to come. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.